Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm trying to show you guys something we're hammering over here. All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Snow Vision Outdoors. We're still up here on Lake Sharp. The bite's been pretty tough, so I switched over to a fighter fly, a hair jig, and once we get one on it, I'll kind of show you. I did something a little bit different if you follow Seth Fighter on Instagram. What's up, guys? Seth Fighter here. I'm going to show you how I rig up the fighter fly. Instagram or Omni fishing, you'll know what I'm talking about. But if I get one on it, I'll show you guys what I did with this, all right? And since I've been being lazy, I've just kind of been sitting here in the back of the boat on the chair, casting out to my spots, kind of working it back pretty easy. We've been kind of sitting in a little bit deeper spots along the break lines. And we've been, I've been casting, at least, I've been casting up onto the shallower stuff. Nope. Oh, well, there was one. Missed him. I'm going to get a picture of the area we're at and what we're kind of doing. As you can kind of see where our boat is, and we're casting up into these, this flat here. And they're sitting right along this contour line and up into this flat from this two foot out into where it drops off. And that's what we're doing. So. Yep. No, I don't think so. I don't think any in the net, but. A bad one. Got that fighter fly right there in the top of the mouth. Nice release for you guys here. And then I'll talk about this fly real quick. Or hair jig, I should say. Oh, yeah. Cold water. <laughs> Whew. Here's the fly right here. I'm not going to be able to. All right. Neiman or me. Neiman or me. We're going to look this up and figure out what the name of this fighter fly is. But there it is right there. You can kind of see it's bulged out. That's because if you... That's a good one. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I'm trying to show you guys something and we're hammering over here. Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Don't horse him, don't horse him. Pops off and it just smacks me right in the face. Uh -huh. That's a nice one. Oh. Probably the best one of the trip. What do you got on? Hair jig? Hair jig. Nice. He switched to the hair jig too. It's a nice one he just caught. Better than the one I had, but let me pop him off for you real quick. He's using a different style than I am, but. Let's measure this one for him, cause, ah, dang, that's a nice healthy one. Look at him. About 17 and a quarter. All right, let's let this baby go. Oh, that's a pretty one. So, I'm using a fighter fly. He's, a, he's also using a, some sort of hair jig. But what I did with mine, because these hair jigs like to just get really thin in the water. I don't know if I can do a demonstration for you guys or not. Maybe put it in the corner. I don't know how technical we're gonna get. But I just took a, took a Cinco and I cut a little piece of it and I put it on the hook underneath the hair and that way when it's in the water, I should be able to get this for you. You can see, but see how bulky it is. It gives it a little bit better bulky presentation instead of a real slender pre presentation. That's what I'm doing. He's also running a hair jig. Mine's black with chartreuse. I'll find the name of this, what the name of this fighter fly is, but that's how we're getting them caught right now. It had been pretty slow all morning until about, I wanna say 20 minutes ago when I threw on the fly or the hair jig, I should say. I keep calling it a fly because they call it the fighter fly, but and I hammered a few in a row. 
and the captain says three is a pattern and we definitely had that pattern going so he switched over to a hair jig and he just caught that nice one and another smaller one before that i'm going to retie this up and get back out there all right so i got up my supplies you just need like a pair of scissors or line cutters will work and then a uh, cinco just a piece of it use cinco and i kind of judge how much i want usually isn't very much Cut a little piece off the end there, like that. Just enough to get her on there, and then you find your hook. And these have a bait keep on them, so that's nice. Kind of get all that feathers out of the way and hair. See the wire keeper on there, so stick it right to the middle. Push it all the way up on there. And when it goes in the water, it'll be all bulked out instead of a line. You can already tell it's kind of bulked out. It kind of pushes that out. So I'll get it rigged up and get it wet, and I can kind of show you what it looks like after it's wet. See how bulged out it is with that being in there? That's all it takes to make a little bit bigger profile. All right, this one, we do not have that extra Cinco piece in it, and this one we do. They're both wet right now, and notice how that one's all skinny, and notice how that one's all bulked out. Don't tell Gary Yamamoto that I cut up his Cinco to put it on a fighter fly, all right? He might not be too happy. Kind of just sliding across the bottom, giving it a few pops, sliding it, giving it a few pops. You can feel the rocks or whatever's down there on the bottom. Hey guys, I just wanted to cut in there real quick. I do it completely different. There's like anything, there's no right way or wrong way. What I do is I cast it out, let it fall, not touch the bottom, but I keep it a few feet off the bottom and just slowly work it back. Just no pops, no pauses, no nothing. Just slowly working it back. If I do have a follower, the best thing I found out is you just kill it right at the boat. Don't pop it, just kill it. If you pop it, a lot of times they'll get spooked and they'll turn on you or they'll just keep going down and go underneath your boat. All right, back to the video. When you're needing that outdoor fix, snow vision is where you click. Gear prep, lures tied, boat towing, camo on, wind check, locked and loaded. Welcome to snow vision. We hunt and fish like it's our mission. Green story unfolding, no intermission. Lips rip, jaws jack, fish smack, 870 strap. The dogs untap, birds getting whacked. Cameraman's also the net man. We didn't need it. That looks good. <laughs> there it is. That's how we were doing it. Only took us three hours to figure out a pattern, but better late than never, I suppose. Yep. There it is with the thing in there. It's kind of folded out now, but. Not a bad one, maybe a 15 incher. Can't complain. Can't complain. We do it better. Fucker looks good. God damn.
wanna get it and I wanna give it, yeah, we 